Hey guys, Digital David here. Today I'm excited to be unboxing and reviewing for you all this security camera with doorbell. So it's from LaVue Security. They make a wide variety of security products online. This is the One Halo. Again, it's a smart security doorbell. So it's got a doorbell with a camera and uh, really excited to be reviewing this for you guys today. They did send this to review, but any opinion expressed in this video is truly my own. You can go ahead and purchase this product on Amazon. The link is in my video description below. Please go ahead, check it out. Check out some of their awesome other products as well too if you're in the market for some home security devices. So this is how it's gonna come to you directly from Amazon. They have a wonderful, wonderful retail packaging right here. You can just really see great logo, great design, excellent, uh, product photography. What we're seeing on the front here is basically let's give you a rundown of what this consists of. We got a three megapixel HD camera. It's got infrared motion detection. It's DIY easy so you can install this yourself. Multiple storage options. You can use an NVR for with the cloud or you can just use um, a micro SD card that actually plugs into this. It supports up to 128 gigabytes. It's got dual band Wi-Fi. It can work with 2.4 gigahertz networks or five gigahertz networks, which is awesome. It has roughly 125 um, feet of range, give or take, depending on um, your house and the structure you'll be using this with. It also has two-way audio. So the back's telling us the same thing. It's got 180 degree field of view. It's IP65 rated. Basically, that's for rain and snow. You can receive notifications. It has an app on the Android and iOS store. So yeah, really guys, it's really cool. Kind of show you the back as well. So there's everything you can see from it, how to set it up and expand the memory. So guys, really an awesome product. Let's go ahead and open it up. All right, looks really neat. Love the presentation of everything. So first thing we have here, it's gonna be your user manuals. So they give us some stickers you want to hold on to. They give us a warranty card. It's got a one year warranty from purchase day. We have just some FCC compliance statements. We have right here the installation uh, power kit. So this is how to install the power kit on your Chime. You're going to want to reference that if you have a mechanical chime and then we have the quick start guide right here showing you to remove existing doorbell connect the doorbell camera to existing cables and then you can complete the in-app setup and then you can use the secure faceplate as well so this is definitely a quick quick start guide so um, looks pretty simple and straightforward in regards to installation um, they're showing you the accessories on the back. So this comes with all the things listed below. We have a power kit, a mini level, a wire harness, a fuse wire, two U-shaped wires, a doorbell screws, fixing screws, security screws, four wire connectors, three mounting screws, three anchors, quick start guide, and stickers. So you want to hold on to this and definitely going to use it to reference later on. Let's see what else we have now. So, really impressed. Let's go ahead and look at the doorbell camera itself. Really a good size, so it's, you know, it's really it's really decent. I'm really excited to get this powered up to use. Good weight to it as well. There's a button to ring. There's going to be your sensors and there's that camera, which is really nice. And you got your little built-in um, speakers right there for two-way audio, two-way uh yep, voice. So that's really neat. Then in here, what do we have? This is going to be all your cables that I just mentioned, so your wire harnesses, your wing nuts, your level. They give you a drill bit as well, which is really neat. All the screws you could use. And uh, yeah, so you want to hold on to that. They even give you the screwdriver as well. What a handy dandy tool. So you got your Phillips end and then you got your security bit end as well to protect your device when it's mounted to your house. And then we're showing three different mounting brackets which is really helpful and really nice that they give you some variety right here. So you can see from the side if they're, they're um, raised depending on what the situation is. So these are more shaped like a doorstop, if that makes sense. I'll try to show you that maybe from the camera angle so you can see how they work. So that one's top to bottom, thicker, um, thinner, and then this is left to right or right to left, thicker 
thinner. So you have a couple different options there, and then you got your flat faceplate, and then you have the grommet. You're going to need to weatherproof this as well. All right, nothing else in the box here. Really impressed with this product. Excited to go ahead and get it installed. I'm back now with my light table and I actually have everything already installed. I'm gonna walk you through step by step what I did. So you can see here's my doorbell chime. I removed the cover. You can find yours in your house. They all usually look like this. They're pretty universal. You'll take the cover off. This is what you'll be presented with. Chances are you're gonna have a wire for the front and one for the transformer. You may even have one for the rear if you have a rear doorbell. If you don't, don't worry about it. Then we actually have the doorbell itself. So you can see what an old one looks like right here and then what the new one looks like when we get it installed. You don't have to worry about which wire goes where. Just go ahead, take the old ones out, put the two attachments that they gave us, these two black cables with the nice little U-hooks. You can use these wire nuts and connect them together and then you're all good to go on that front. Now let's go back to the chime box and get everything set up. So you need that power kit right here. You need to plug this in. Then we have the black wire that we'll worry about first. That goes to the front doorbell. So you can see they each have a hook. So it's a little thicker right here with the hook. You're gonna go ahead, unscrew the old wire that was in the front. Pay attention to which wire that was. Keep it to the side. Put the hook on, screw it down. Take the new black wire and connect it with the old wire for the front with another nice little included wing nut, little wire nut right here, and you're good to go. Now we need to proceed to the transformer wire and do the same thing. Take the old one off, pay attention to where it's at, put the new white hook on, make sure it's secure and everything fits properly. Screw that back down with the attached screwdriver. Then take the new white wire that we have right here and attach it to the old transformer wire right there with the included wire nut. And now everything is set up and you're good to go to the app. From the app, you'll create a profile, you'll scan the QR code, you'll enter your Wi-Fi information, then you'll connect to its Wi-Fi network. Voila, then you're all ready to use the doorbell. So we can see here's the rear doorbell. Works great. Now let's try out the new doorbell. There you go, it makes a digital noise and it rings the actual front chime as well. So now we're gonna go to the mobile app. So now we're at the home screen within the app. We're gonna go ahead and select the one halo doorbell. It's gonna take a second to load. Everything looks great. I'm really impressed with the doorbell. You can see the quality right there looks really nice, really cool. It's got a super wide angle lens on it. So let's kind of walk through some of the basic settings right here. In the top right hand corner, we have a settings icon. We can select it and see all these different options that we have to control, answer doorbell call, chime type, audio, status light, IR light, alarm notification, time zone. You can see everything we can change right there. There's even a more tab if we want to delete the device. So then we can see there's a share icon as well. So let's select the share and see what we can do. So we can choose to share this device with a friend, family member, loved one. You can send their email or a phone number to share it with them and you can give them all permissions if you want or just live view, playback, that sort of thing. You can set all that up within there. So that's really neat. Then we can see towards the bottom we have a square right there. So that can be a stop or a play it looks like. So here's a live view and then you can tap to go back into it. Then we have your microphone if we want to turn it on and hear what's going on right there. Then we have a split view in case we have multiple cameras from LaView to set up and use within the app, which is really sweet. So we could select another device right there and then you have some more controls for it at your convenience to control. You can see a call log and a video history as well. Now we're going back into the app we can do this little plus if we want to keep zooming in. So that's pretty sweet. And we can just use our fingers as well so we can kind of rotate it around and it's got that cool little almost distorted ball look right there. So then we have the microphone too if we want to talk. We have the camera if we want to take a picture which is what I just did. And then we have the record if we want to start recording some footage back from the doorbell that can easily be achieved all from right here within 
the app. So I love the way this looks, guys. It's really cool. Let's look at that call log really quick too. So we can see somebody rang the doorbell in which days, and then we have the history as well. So nothing was recorded, but it's really neat. So as soon as somebody pushes that, obviously you have that call log and you can see more information right there. So now just for fun, let me go ahead, let me push the doorbell so you can see what happens. As soon as I push it, it'll ring and then it'll answer like it's calling our phone. So let's go ahead, let's give it a try. So I just pushed it. Now you can see someone press the doorbell and now it's going to a real live view and we could accept the call right here if we want or we can reject it. Now we're gonna test some audio features out and I just wanna warn you, there'll probably be some feedback and repetition because these devices are so close together right now. So let me just go ahead, let's turn the microphone on just for a second so you can hear it. Testing the microphone audio. So it sounds really good, everything works great. Same thing, we can turn on the microphone right here and start two-way audio. Two-way audio. So that works really well too. But I'm gonna go ahead and turn that back off again because the proximity were really close and there's a lot of feedback. And I'll lastly, I'll go ahead, I'll push the call again. So we'll ring it and then we can answer it. So now I'm gonna answer the call. Hello? Hello? Who's there? Who's there? So I hung up really quick because again, it's just so loud with the feedback. So everything works great. I'm really impressed with this product. It's really nice. It's got a cool camera. Setup's not too hard, guys. They have a plenty of videos out there, even on their own YouTube, that can walk you through it if you have any trouble. Lastly, I just want to show you guys the mounting brackets again so you know what you have to work with. You have a flat, level, even mounting bracket right here. Then you have this thicker at the top or the bottom mounting bracket, depending on what sort of wood or trim you may have by your door. Same with this one, it's thicker on the left or the right side, depending on how you want to position and use it. And you also have this really important weather seal as well that you attach to the back of whatever bracket you choose to mount. That's as simple as zapping two screws in there and using the built-in level that they have that clips right in so you can make sure it's level from the start. And then after you have the grommet and then that attached, you need to then go ahead and take the other remaining screws, two of them, and put them right in there and they'll screw right in to each bracket, which is great. And then last but not least, you can snap this faceplate on and now you're all good to go and everything has been set up. Look at how cool that blue LED light is on there as well. Looks really nice. I'm really impressed. If you're interested in this product, the link to it will be in my video description below. Please go ahead, check it out. Do your shopping from there. Hit that like button for me. Subscribe to my channel. Also follow me on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. You can message me on WeChat. Check out my website. Join my free newsletter, guys. And don't hesitate to reach out with any questions, comments, or concerns below. I'd be happy to answer them for you or point you in the right direction. Thank you so much for watching. I have new content coming out daily, and I will see you in my next video.